Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this video, we're looking at how to update the save file for the 12.02 jailbreak once you have set up the jailbreak on your PS4. If you installed the original remote Lua loader save file where you need to send the Lua files over the network connection and want to update to the auto loader instead so that you can just load the game to jailbreak it, or if you want to update the auto loader to a newer version as newer versions become available, once you have the jailbreak set up, it's much quicker and easier to update the save file as you don't need to install it in the original way that you did when you first tried to jailbreak the console. So for updating the save files, we can use homebrew applications to do it for us, which is going to be a lot easier. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at how we do this here. Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to run our game, the Japanese game to run the Lua Loader. And the version I have installed here is the original version, which is the remote version. So I have to send the Lua files over the network and I'm going to swap it out with the auto loader instead. So if we switch over to our computer here, I've got the IP address of my PS4 entered here in the remote Lua loader. And I'm going to go ahead and send the lapse exploit to run the jailbreak. And then after that, I will then send the bin loader. So listening for a payload on 9020. And then I will send a payload. I can send hen VTX from here or I can simply uh, use my uh, netcat payload injector to send a different version of hen. I'm using Al Azov's version, which is kind of the updated uh, fixed versions. So I'm gonna go ahead and send that version there to the PS4 and there we go, spawning payload. And now we have our console jailbroken. So obviously I don't wanna have to send that every single time over the network. I just wanna use the auto loader in future now so that uh, it will just automatically load that payload whenever I run the game. So in order to update the save file, what we're gonna do first of all is get a piece of homebrew onto our PlayStation 4. So in order to do this, we're gonna switch on over to our computer again, and we're gonna head to the homebrew store, which is at pkg-zone.com. And then from here, we can find from the most popular apps here, we've got the Apollo save tool. This is the program we want to download. So we will download this for PS4. I would also recommend just getting the homebrew store while you're here if you don't already have it because then you can install all of these homebrew applications directly onto the PS4 itself by heading to the homebrew store here and downloading it for PlayStation 4. That is the easy way to do it there. So I'll go ahead and do that as well and download that. Okay, so now we just want to get a USB drive, connect it to your computer, go to properties, make sure it is set to XFAT format or FAT32 format for the file system. Then if we head into that USB drive and just copy our packages to the root of the USB drive, do not put them inside any folders. And then at that point, we can just go ahead and eject our drive and plug it into our PS4. Okay, so on the PS4, we're gonna head over to our settings and scroll down to the debug settings. If you have Gold Hen available, then you can just head to the Gold Hen menu options and go to the package installer. Uh, with this version of Hen, we need to go to debug settings, game, package installer. And then we'll find the packages here and we can just install all of them. And we'll say yes to install both packages. And that will get the Apollo save tool and the homebrew store installed onto our PS4. So here we go. So the Apollo save tool is a very powerful homebrew app for managing your save files. So we're going to open this application here. Now this application does not officially have support for like 12.02 and firmware is above 11.0 yet. But a while ago, this application was updated to be firmware agnostic. So it should work fine on these higher firmwares, even though there's not been a new release of it yet uh, to specifically support these higher firmwares. So what we can do from here is head over to HDD saves, and then we'll find our game, which is our Hamadashi Creative game, which is uh, CUSA 27389 in this case. So select your Japanese game, that you're using to run the jailbreak and then we want to go to copy save game to usb and we'll press x on that and we'll copy save to usb 0 and that should copy out the decrypted save data to our usb drive so from there we can head back over here to the apollo save tool we can go to usb saves and we can see the save file that we exported is showing up here so so now what we can do is unplug that USB drive and plug it back into our computer. Okay, so now we can head to the auto loader here, go to the code and download it as a zip file or whichever you know version of the Lua loader you want to use for your save file. So then if we open up that USB drive, we can go to the PS4 folder, the Apollo folder, and then we've got a folder in here that contains all of your decrypted save data. And we can basically delete all of the save data in here apart from the SCE 
system folder. So leave that one alone, but delete all of the other stuff inside and then replace it with whatever save data you want to use. So in my case, I want to switch it to the auto loader. So I'll head into the save data for the auto loader that I downloaded, copy all of the files in here and basically paste them into your decrypted save data on the USB. Okay, and one last thing that we need to do is head to the root of the USB drive. If you're switching over to the auto loader for the first time, we want to take our homebrew enabler payload or our gold hen payload and copy it over to the root of the USB drive here. And we're going to rename it to payload.bin. So payload.bin, make sure if you click on view and go to show that it is set to file name extensions is enabled so that you can see the full file name and make sure it's named payload.bin and then you should be good. We don't need these homebrew apps anymore because they're already installed. And now we should be all good. So we can go ahead and eject our drive and plug it back into the PS4 for the last time. And when we go back on the PS4 here, we're gonna press square to refresh. So at this point, we can then select our save file on the USB. And we're now just going to copy it back to the hard drive with copy save game to HDD. And there we go, files successfully copied to save data. So that should be it. We have now updated the save file with the latest version of the auto loader. And that is all you got to do. So now we can press circle and say exit to XMB to close out of the Apollo save tool. And once that's done, we should be good. As soon as we run this, it will now switch over to the auto loader instead of the remote Lua loader. Now, just to show this properly, we'll restart the PS4 because we're already running the jailbreak right now. So we want to do a fresh reboot when we're not running the jailbreak and then load it to make sure it's all working. Okay, so after rebooting the PS4, you can see our homebrew applications are locked because we're not running the jailbreak anymore. So now what we can do is run the jailbreak by loading our Lua game. And this time it should use the auto loader instead of having to send the payloads over the network. It is now automatically loading the payload here. So there we go, payload copied successfully. So that's copied it over to the data folder on the hard drive. And now we get our welcome to hen. So we now have the homebrew enabler running and I can now load my homebrew applications. So there you go, that's how you can update the save file and you can use this you know, in future whenever you want to update the save file for any new updates that come out to the save file that make it more convenient or more stable or load for it to load faster, although it already loads pretty damn fast as is. But for any other improvements that come out to the Lua loader, you'll be able to update the save file quite easily now using the Apollo save tool here. So yeah, that is basically it. And you can also download, of course, Apollo from the Homebrew store itself and update it from here. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video or find the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.